Chase Stokes just saved a man's life, and here is everything we know. I'm Gianna Rosenberg. I'm Gabby Conti, and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. Chase Stokes is not just an actor, he is also a lifesaver. The Outer Banks star just tweeted that he saved a man's life recently, which would actually make this the second time the actor possibly saved someone's life. As of just a few weeks ago, Chase and the rest of the Outer Banks cast helped save a fan of the show's life. After she tweeted a suicide note, Chase and his co-stars used the platform to spread love to this fan and get people to find her so she wouldn't commit suicide, and it worked. Chase even talked to her on the phone, and now the fan is alive and well, and obviously very grateful. I mean, that story literally gave me chills. Same. Just like how it happened, like how great Chase was for the whole situation. Yep. He brought in the cast to be like helpful mm -hmm. to her. And now it seems she's much happier. I mean, it's just such an amazing story. Um, and such, you know, a wake up call again to everyone out there on social media. Like you just never know what people are going through. You never know what people are going through. Be kind. Um, but also it's so, it's, it's nice to know that social media could actually be a network yeah. where people can raise awareness and, and help people. And still on Chase's Twitter page, the pinned tweet that he has is resources for different help hotlines, like suicide, like drugs, like eating mm -hmm. disorders, like all that stuff is there. So it's great that he's having that resource for his millions of uh, followers. Now, just a few days ago, Chase saved another man's life while he was boating with his girlfriend, Madeline Klein, as Chase tweeted. So, fun fact, just saved some guy's life. He was kayaking and got caught in a storm. Mads and E saw he needed help, so I brought him into the house. Chase then added to the tweet, so I gave him a water bottle. Here he is hanging inside during the storm, and you can see a blurry shot of the man, shirtless, drying off in Chase's home. Then Chase added, then I put his kayak on the boat and took him home. Anyways, glad Chris is safe. Doesn't seem like the type of dude to use social media. Glad you're safe, buddy. And again, you can see a picture of Chase's new friend, Chris, in the background on Chase's boat, not showing his face. Well, is Chris on social media? I mean, I Chase, know. you had him right there. Why didn't you ask him if you could tag him? But it was just like so funny to me that he, if you look at the tweets, you'll see that Chase posts these like really sneaky photos of the guy, like not showing his face out yeah. of respect of his privacy. Yeah. But it's just like so funny. I'm like, okay, cool. We're very cool that you saved this man's life. But like, does he know you saved his life? Does right. he know who you are? Does he know that now photos of him, of his back, and his shirtless bod are yeah. all over your Twitter page and seen by millions of people. So I mean, funny. these are just some of the many questions we have for Chase. Well, the rescue seemed to have happened after Chase and Madeline were boating as Madeline posted a series of boat pictures on Instagram around the same time that Chase tweeted that. In the first shot, Madeline is posing looking super cute in an olive string bikini. And as you can see, Chase's foot is in the background as he's driving the boat. Next, Madeline is kissing Chase on the cheek who looks beyond happy. Then Madeline is laughing with wet hair as Chase drives the boat. She captioned the series of photos, nobody, nobody was whatsoever. Chase, look at that grass. And there is a lot of grass around the boating and that does seem like a total Chase Stokes thing I, to say. I feel like they troll each other and it's just, it's really fun yeah. to watch. They're hilarious together. They're super cute. I mean, even if you haven't watched the show, I feel like you can still be obsessed with Chase and Madeline. With the two of them, because they're such goals. They look, they do look so genuinely happy with each other. Yeah. I also have a feeling that they are so, that they feel so free that they can now openly post about their relationship. Definitely, because yeah. they probably were keeping us under wraps for a while. Um, but they definitely seem to be with each other currently and very happy. And we are just, we're just so happy for them. Definitely, so happy for them. A few nights before they went boating, it looks like Madeline made ravioli. As Chase tweeted, Mads is making pasta. I've never been so excited for food in my life. Ahoy. He then assured his followers that pics would be coming soon. As promised, he shared a photo of Madeline smirking into the camera with a glass of red wine and water and a bowl of ravioli with red sauce. Chase captioned this, happy. But fans seemed concerned that the couple wasn't eating their ravioli as their bowls looked untouched. So Chase commented, FYI, last night I prob had 17 servings of ravioli. Just realized it looked like we ate like ants. Seven, 17, Seventeen. Chase. 17. Is that 17 bowls or is that 17 Ravioli. raviolis? Because these were big raviolis. They were yeah. about this big. Either way, Props? Yeah, <laughs> definitely props. Love that Madeline's chefing up in the kitchen for him. Um, also, love that he felt the need to like tell them how much they ate. Yeah. I feel like these two are so new to the fame game yeah. that they're like, oh wait, does this look right? Or should yeah. we like follow yeah. up and say something? And they're just really like open and honest about everything they post and I love it. It's almost great. like, and the way they interact with their fans is almost like how you interact with your friends, it totally. feels like. Like yeah. they just are so open and lovely. And um, yeah, this this date looked very cute. Also, it does seem like this couple's MO for a date night while with, you know, um, Addison and Bryce, they like a steak or a sushi dinner. These two love Italian food and red wine because this is now Definitely. the second time we're seeing them with a similar That's setup. That's true, yeah. So. Well, what do you guys think about Chase saving a man's life? and Chase and Madeline's adorable ravioli dinner. Let us know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Gina Rosenberg. And follow us here at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.